dream number three. So this um, dream, I had a dream that um, my daughter-in-law's father died. This was months ago. This was before or right at the beginning of the coronavirus. I had a dream he died. And my daughter-in-law was standing there and she was um, looking really sad. Okay, really sad. And I said, what's the matter? And I think I think I wrote it down. I wrote, I actually made a note of it. But I think that I asked her twice and she said he died, my dad died. And she looked really, really distraught. Like, he lives in Florida. Okay, he lives in Florida. So I was praying for him that nothing would happen to him. Now, right at this time, before, when I had this dream, later on he had like some kind of stroke or something, aneurysm, he fell, hurt his head or something like that. So I don't know. But the other night I had a dream, like recently, I had a dream my uncle died. My uncle David died. I had a dream my uncle David died. He lives in Florida too. He lives in Orlando. So, and I never, I haven't seen my Uncle David in years and years and years. And I never think about my Uncle David. Like, I don't even talk to my Uncle David. He's like my great Uncle David. And he lives in Florida. So, these two people I've had a dream of, and I don't dream about people dying hardly ever. Like, ever. And so, he died. And it's like I know they've died. I don't, I didn't see their funeral or anything. I just knew they died. So, um these two people so um anyway uh so these two people live in florida so you know how they're all talking about how florida is going to be hit with a tsunami or something's going to happen to flood florida and the east coast and the west coast so i don't know if something's going to happen to florida if that means anything it may not mean anything i don't know may not mean a thing okay but it could mean something so if i was people who live in florida which i know it's probably not possible I, I would probably get off the coast of florida or i'd get out of florida because there's a lot of people saying something's gonna happen to florida it's gonna get wiped out and so i don't know that's what they say i don't know you just do your research pray to god about it it may not mean a thing may mean everything i don't know but god bless you all let me think is there any more dreams i need to you all if you need prayer let me know oh um if you're not saved um i'm gonna put a link in the bottom where you can it's, it's like the steps to be saved and what to do to accept jesus christ as your lord and savior um of course it's not just a prayer it, it's a change of your heart a change of your life you, you will be have a like you're, you'll have a rebirth. You're changed. You're different when you really, truly accept the Lord in your heart. You can't just say a prayer and say, "I'm saved." It's you have to. There has to be um, born again type of, you know, experience. So, um, but if you need prayer, let me know. If you're having trouble understanding all this stuff with the Lord Jesus and and God and all this stuff, just ask me. I'll pray for you that. God open your heart so that you can see and you know take the blinders off your eyes so you can see the truth God bless you all thanks um you know I had that dream and I, I it was back in October almost November I think and I did a video where I saw the um the nuclear explosion and uh and I'll put a link in the in down there so you can you can see it but um I also had that dream about chaos in the city two buses almost hit me there was cars wrecked everywhere people were running around and then in another part of that dream it was snowing and the reason I brought this up is because it was snow it was like it was like not snowing but it was like ice it was cold and it was going down a hit and I was like at the top of the hill and all these cars kept sliding into each other and wrecking and it was like chaos but it was like the cold months so I'm wondering if that has something to do with um, a lot of people are saying like this like in November there's going to be something happen. I wonder if we're going to have a big snow. This you know, it's going to be cold weather or something. I don't know. I just thought I'd bring that up. I just thought it was strange. Um. Anyway, God bless you all. If you need prayer, let me know. Uh, ask Jesus to be your Lord and Savior. Ask Him into your heart. Trust Him as your Lord and Savior because time's short. Um. If you need prayer and you you don't really know how to do that, I'm gonna put 
a link down in the description. There's a few people that um, on their website they they tell you how to accept the Lord Jesus Christ. You know the prayer you can say. So um, anyway, God bless you. Thank you. Bye.